So we're gonna go thrifting and see what we can find at the thrift store. This is the first one. Definitely a unique piece, you guys. Definitely made me look up for this. It's called Prime Wear. It's just like on the zipper. Um, and the inside is like this metallic -y, I don't know what it's called. It's basically like insulated though for like heat or cool. Um, and it's basically when I first looked at it, I was like, you know, it's like a lunch pail. And I thought it was cute. It's got this weird like almost cork like look, look to it. I really like it. It's only $6.99 at Goodwill. But then I saw this. And this I found out is an extra. So you can actually put like I'm just gonna use it as an example because it's the only thing I could think of and it was the only thing that brought up on the ad. But you can put like your boxed wine in here and then the spout comes out this end and you can have wine. I did think it was kind of handy. It looks like online these are selling new for about $35 to $45. This looks unused, like there's no scuff marks, the bottom isn't even worn. We're gonna aim for that $35 to $40 range on this. So these are Matt Burnson boots, and I thought they were super cute. They're made with real fur. They have leather bottoms, and the comps look great on these, but these shoes, they wanted $15 for them at my Goodwill, and they were trashed. I mean, there was chips in the heels, the leather was all scraped up, the fur was falling out, and the zippers didn't work. Be on the lookout for this brand, but, but make sure they are in better condition than these. by this pair of Asics. I these are pretty dirty on the bottom but there's still a lot of tread left. They're a really small size. They're like a woman's. Well, there's some tearing on the inside like on the inside lining uh, and then the the shoelaces are pretty frayed but otherwise the tops look pretty good and I did a google these are the fluid ride and I did a Google lens search on these and they're going for like 25 to 35 dollars. I was actually kind of impressed so these were only $6.99 at my local Goodwill. Um, I'm going to hope in that $25 range at least though. NFL 2XL like Green Bay Packers like heavy. It's like an athletic jacket. It's not like a winter jacket. It's got the logo there and it was only $8 and it's a size 2X and I got excited because I didn't see it until after I, I saw her ring it up, but it's new with tags too. And the original price was $70. It's the crossbar track jacket. So I'm gonna hope for like 30 bucks on this. Um, This is definitely a Bolo brand. This is Untuck It. And I feel like I found these everywhere and then I stopped seeing them. But this shirt was only marked $5.99 at Goodwill and it's a size XXL probably an easy $25 or $30 though dresses were marked like $1.99 so I don't know if they're having like a sale or if they were discounting them. Um, just to go over a few though, this one is Tabitha which I believe is an anthropology brand. I think it's anthropology but this is like a fitted like flare skirted sheath dress maybe. Um, it's a great size, it's a size 12. I think this will do good anytime. I think I'm gonna try and get like 25 for this though. This was in with the dresses. You guys, I was so excited to find this brand for $1.99. I've been getting really picky about Madewell pieces, but this is a Madewell jumpsuit. And it's the black label, so it's like the newer label. And it's got this really pretty, like, fabric button detail down the front here. But this is indeed a jumpsuit. I looked at it more closely at the store, and I realized it was a jumpsuit when I went to go separate the legs. Um, and it looks like these are selling for like $35 to $55. So pretty excited about that. And then this other dress that we got from there, also $1.99, it is new with tags. The original price on it says $68, but the brand is C-Loose or C-Lucy, which I've never heard of. 
and you feel it, it's really nice. So I'm gonna hope for like 30 on that one. Um, these are Anthropology, and I think this style is really in. They're a smaller size, they're a size six. Um, it just says the Essential Flare by Anthropology. Um, but I think these are a good pair of like, I think they're boot cut, like women's boot cut. They're like a good office pant or like work pant. Um, they do have real pockets in the front here and these were only $3.99, which is awesome. So getting on those, probably that $35 to $40 range. I forgot to film at the last place, so I'm just going to show you guys what I got from the last month. I did want to bring up these. I didn't get these at a good discount or anything. They were $5. They are Lauren Ralph Lauren, and they're a size 18 women's. Um, but I think the style is really in right now. And they are just like these really cute leggings with that faux leather look. Um, I didn't see any Lauren Ralph Lauren ones, but like Spanx like this are going for like $75. I know that Spanx, these are not... But I'm still going to guess that we can get about $35 for these. This was a new brand for us. I don't even know how to say it. It's like Lutha. Lutha, maybe? There's the brand. Um, And this is like a very soft. It has like almost, it's not quilted, but it's an interesting like windbreaker style on the front. And then it's like this really pretty, like really nice, super soft material here. It was, how much were you? $6.50? It was $5.00. $5 in the comps on these are all over the place. It looks like the heavier winter jackets are going for like upwards of $50 and higher. Um, I'm going to hope for like 40, probably market 40 and I'll hope for like 35. This brand is really good. It is Prevo, which I believe is, oh, um, and the main reason I picked these up, if these were more than $5, I probably wouldn't have picked them up. It looks like, like this is the Mary Jane and it looks like these are selling for about $25. Green tags were half off in the store, so I got these today for $1.75. You guys saw this workshop pair of glimpse. These are skinnies, but they have like some heart um, patches over them. These were $5.99, which is not what I would have wanted to pay for these, but I'm going to take a chance on them since the other clothes were only $1.99. And then I've been hearing and seeing a lot of people talk about Levi's lately, and I... I should just stop picking them up. Levi's don't sell well for me at all, and I sit on them forever, but I thought these were a cute, like, charcoal acid wash, like, skinny jean. Really small. They're size 26, but they're the Mile High Super Skinny. Um, they do have these, like, fun button print down here, and I think I paid up for these, too. I think I paid $5.99 for these as well. Um, but I think the style is already in and out. I'll try to aim for that $25. This will probably be the last time I pick up Levi's. Like I said, they don't do really that well for me. And then I picked up these Adidas shoes. They looked like loafers, but then I touched the bottom and they're like cleated. And when I Google lens them, they said that they are like a women's, um, golf shoe. And they're only $5. And it looks like comps on there were going for like $25 to $45. These are a little dirty, um, and I don't like cleaning up dirty. I'll probably just scrape, clean off some of the canvas here. Um, they're women's size eight. I'm going to aim for that $25 range. But that is all that I have for you guys today. I really want to do like a good thrift trip. I feel like my thrift trips have just been so random, and I really was excited about most of the stuff that I got. Um, and yeah, but so my next challenge that I'm going into, make sure you guys watch out for the next video. I'm going to do like a two day hundred listing challenge for myself. I'm doing, uh, we're redoing the office here so I can take better, more clear photos. Um, and so I want to get all the inventory listed that I have currently, which actually isn't as much as I usually have, but I want to get all that listed and see if I can get a hundred listings done in two days. So make sure to watch out for that. And if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.